we are. Hi. Hey! Hello. Hi, guys. I think it's just starting up. Cool. All right. Let's give everyone a second to get on. Oh, I definitely look a lot better than I did last time. <laughs> Hi! Hey, guys. Welcome. We have Yachty and Eileen and Tracy and Amelia. Is it hey, Lauren. Oh, my gosh. That's so cool. Christina. Hey, y'all. <clears throat> Oh, good. Uh, the lighting and the sound is so good this time, Scott. Good. Woo, woo. <laughs> so thankful. For I know. Now, how are y'all doing? Thanks for joining us on a Friday. Y'all doing okay? TGI. Hey, Kelly. We're just giving everyone a minute or two, and then we'll get started. I've been waiting all week for this. I know. I have. I've been so excited for this today, Scott. I was like, you know how you have like the extra little pep in your stuff, and you're like, let's do this kind of thing. Hey, Martha. I don't know. I'm just excited. Amelia. Hey, girl. Y'all, this is gonna be fun. Hi, Mari. Yes, love Shantikai. Um. So do I. Thank you. Thank you. I'm a little partial. <laughs> well, I mean, a little bit. Does a little bit, yeah. <laughs> All right. So Scott, let's go tell. Let's just tell everyone who you are. Let's introduce you to the to the group here, to the fam. Um. So this is Scott Patrick. He is the Shantikai's National Education Executive, and yeah. you are in Texas. And yeah. Uh. What else, Scott? You have a ton of experience, not just with Shantikai, but with other leading brands as well in, in this space or whatnot. So, <laughs> so yeah, what else? Tell us all about you. I've been in the industry for almost 23 years. Um, I started when I was very young. Um, <laughs> like, and, right? <laughs> like, I was like two years old, yeah. <laughs> um, I've worked for Chanel for many, many years. I worked for Trish Mac McAvoy as a national and regional artist. Um, worked for Bobby Brown um, and Shantikai. So I'm very thankful. Um, I'm thankful for my uh, my past experiences because it was it helped me be where I am today. Of course, very yeah. For that, so yeah. Yeah, well, very cool. So Scott and I were just talking. Oh, and my name's Jennifer. For those who are new, Hi. welcome. Hi. <laughs> I um I have this YouTube channel here, and we talk a lot about luxury beauty. Actually, yeah, and so a lot about luxury. Beauty. <laughs> I, just, I love it so so much because I was talking in my video. I think prior to to our live, Scott, is that I feel like there's so much history behind the brands themselves, and like the you know, the story more so than anything. And I just love that. I love that just sense of, you know, it being around a while and all that kind of stuff too. So that's just something I just love. And um, yeah, and Shantikai is no different with their story, you know, starting out um, as a family run business and things like that. So it's just, I just, I love it. I mean, I just love beauty. A lot. <laughs> you know, it's here's the thing. It, what I love about my job is that I can make whoever is sitting in front of me, you know, well, when we were actually doing makeup, you know, sure. it seems like it was eons ago. It's going to come back. I, I promise. Um, but I can make whoever is in front of me, whether it's on this platform or if it's live or if it's, you know, in a virtual consultation, whatever the case may be. If I can make that person feel more beautiful and make them feel more confident about themselves, oh yeah, then that's all I ask. And the reason I think I'm, I'm so passionate about that is because I have had a lot of really strong women in my life that helped me, helped raise me, helped me become the man I am today. And if it right. hadn't been for them, like I wouldn't be where I'm at today. And so for me, it's a way for me to be able to to give back all the love they gave me 
and the strength it gave me um, so I can do that for other people. Yeah. And just like feeling really good in your own skin. Yeah. Just yeah, feeling good about yourself. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so Yad and Jamie's here. I just want to say hi to everyone first before we get started. And yeah, I think we're going to, we have something very special for y'all tonight. We have the debut of the holiday eyeshadows. I feel like I should have put like confetti or something, Scott. Ooh, okay, that's a little teaser. <laughs> so we're going to talk about. about the holiday eyeshadows. Yeah. We're going to try them on. Um, they're really pretty, you guys. So let's let's just do it, Scott. I mean, let's do it. Which one do you want to start with? Okay, let's start with um, let's start with a zebra. Let's start with the lightest one. Hey. Okay. So. I have been playing. <laughs> I like to play, and that's why I don't have eye makeup on, you guys, because uh, we're going to try these on. This is a zebra, you guys. Yeah. So this looks like this. It's actually quite um, small as you know, pan size. I'm trying to find something to put it up against so that. Okay, so let's see. Here is the Goa bronzer. So if you put, I'm trying to. Sorry, guys. If you put this next to the Goa bronzer, you'll see here what it looks like. It's kind of, would you say like a, an inch and a quarter, an inch and a half by inch yeah, and a half? Yeah, I'm trying to find something else. Okay, what about this? Perfect. So that is our Radiance Cheek Chic Highlighter Duo. Right. Um, yeah. So they're about... Okay. Mm, an inch, inch and a half by an inch and a half. Probably like a, almost a quarter, a little bit more than a quarter of this. Here's the perfect. This is the iPhone Max. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Maybe not such a good thing to compare it to. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they're. I mean, they're they're small, but they're a good size. You know. I mean. Yeah, yeah. Good. No, I mean, definitely enough product. There is two and a half grams of product. Yeah. This is called the Rose Gold or Zebra Shade, and it is in the Luminescent Eye Shade uh, or formula, if we right. want to go there. Um, this in particular is definitely a Rose Gold. Now, I asked Scott, I was like, now, so these, these are the first of these shadow types that I've tried. I love these. By Chantikai, which is the Lacrome Lux Eye Duo. Duo, yeah. and someone did ask me to compare this Kenya one to these because they they do look similar in shade or whatnot, but they're not really. And so here we, I'm going to swatch this for you guys so that you guys can see it. That is, oh, there we go. Yeah. There we go. Come on back. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So that's what that looks like well, here. I haven't touched mine. I have, mine haven't been touched. <laughs> yeah, don't do yours. I, I, I'll, I'll take one for the I've team. I've already put my finger in, so. Uh, <laughs> I was going to take one for the team, Scott. Okay. <laughs> so this is the. Zebra. Zebra. So it's like a rose gold. Um, it's a soft color. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, for the lid, if you want to do something close to the lash line. Um, I wouldn't necessarily use this as a highlighter. I mean, you could. Um, you you know what? Actually, you could on. Uh, I'm kind of curious. On tones, you could use it as a highlighter. Hey, you know. For, so for those of you who have tried, say, Cheetah, um, I'm going to let you see the difference in these two. Cheetah is more of like a warm champagne. Okay, I hate this thing because <laughs> it's the other, it's the, it goes the other way. I know. This one's cheetah, and then this one is zebra. So you can see the difference that zebra definitely has a little bit more of like a peachy, pinky gold. Oh, yeah. Where cheetah is more of a champagne um, shade. Yes. Really pretty. I do. And I did put it on as a highlight. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, I can. That's really pretty. This formula, it's a gel powder consistency. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, tell us about it. It's talc free, vegan friendly. Um, they are beautiful. They are long wearing. You can use them wet or dry. There is a little trick that we can talk about in just a little bit about how to use them wet. 
It's not okay. the, uh, the usual way. You kind of go a little bit about it backwards. Um, okay. but they're highly pigmented. And I always describe these as little pieces of jewelry for your eyes. That's sure. So I'm going to use, Scott, you sent over a brush for me to try. And this is a new brush to me. This is called the Shade and Sweet Brush. Yep. Tell us about this brush because it's quite interesting. It's, I love it. I mean, it's just a solid brush, you know? So Olivia Shantakai, who is our, who is Sylvie's eldest daughter and our creative director, um, has always wanted to work with this brush artist, I guess you could say brush manufacturer from Japan. Mm -hmm. Japanese are known to make some of the best brushes in the world, uh, the highest quality. And so she has always wanted to work with this brush manufacturer based in Japan. And so when we came out, they knew they were, we were creating these luminescent shadows. She goes, this is the perfect time. Um, mm -hmm. So this brush, it is uh, vegan friendly. All of our brushes are vegan friendly. So it's a synthetic hair, but it feels so soft it picks up the perfect amount of color you can literally just go right into the shadow and pick up the color and as you just did laying it down so pretty onto the skin yeah this is awesome it's a great brush to lay down i'm having the worst time like trying to do my hand backwards <laughs> over here I'm just not going to do that because <laughs> um, but it's a great brush like to lay down color onto the lid because it kind of fits your lower lid. Yeah. Okay. Whoops. It's good for hooded eyes too because my, obviously my eyes are very hooded. Same here. I have no lid. <laughs> but, yeah, it just goes back behind your eyeball. <laughs> exactly, right? No, you're right. I do have a lid. <laughs> yeah, you do. We all have eyelids. We not. But it does fit the lid per perfectly um, just to kind of do that really quick sweep to yeah. really apply the color. You can also take the very tip of it because it is cut at a tapered on one of the side, you can take the tip and pop it right into the crease oh, if you want to do a little okay. bit of as well. Like right here. Sorry, I'm trying to do this in the camera on the on the on the That's webcam. Okay. That's yeah, not. There you go. Can you see see it okay while I'm doing that? Yeah, yeah. Look at that, guys. Ooh. Okay. Hold on. I'm gonna take it down here. Perfect. Okay. So Scott, you were saying I'm gonna apply these wet too because you were like, oh, you can apply them wet. Yeah. So what you want to do. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Got it. Perfect. You got to have a rose water. Take the brush, go into your shadow, dry, pick it up. Okay. Okay. Like this. So I, I, I put it on. Okay. Put it on the brush. Put it on the brush, then grab your rose water. Okay. And then you're going to mist and get in the camera. You're going to mix it just a little bit with rose water. And then you're just going to lay it down. Just a little bit. Just a little bit, like one or two spritzes. There okay. you go. Now put it on. Yeah. Put it on the other side. Yeah. Try it on the other side. So it creates it almost as if it's more. Um, Iridescent. Yeah. Foiled. And it's also more like uh, liquid metal, like chrome. Uh, can you see me? I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. If you really want these colors to really pop, then yeah. do this. I mean, they pop already. Um, they're highly pigmented, so you're not going to have a problem of them showing up. Um, I also find that sometimes your, your little ring finger is one of the best brushes that you can Ooh, let's do that. Just go straight into your finger and just lay it down. There you go. Really pretty. Wow, I like this one. You know, I like this shade because um, you could totally wear this like every day. Oh, yeah. I mean, the sparkle is real with these. Don't get me wrong. There's a lot of sparkle. So if you're not like really into super sparkly eyeshadows or anything, this is not necessarily the product for you. But this right here, like you could just throw this on. Yeah. And go. Yeah, I always tell my clients, like, especially, you know, before we came out with these, like cheetah, especially, just grab it with your finger and literally just 
go right along your lid. Yeah. Wham, bam, and done. I mean, it's really quick and easy. And I have, I don't know, and this is also a man speaking. Mm -hmm. um, but I've been in the industry for a while. And I find sometimes that the most simple things that you, you can do make the most impact. So just taking yeah. that one color instead of trying to do two or maybe three or even four shadows, like it right. gets a little too much. There's nothing to me. And it's just my opinion that is any prettier than just one color all over the lower lid, starting yeah. at your eye line and then blending it up into the crease, creating that beautiful, soft, smoky eye. I agree. These are pretty. And just know um, the eyes aren't just for nighttime. You can wear them in the daytime as well. You know, like, what, what would I do for a smoky eye during the day? See, I, I personally, like, I'm probably more, like, more, like, neutral in tone for the day and then would amp it up in the evening. Right. But what would I do for the day? I would do. I, may not be the, I, may, I mean, I don't know if I'm the only one that's like. <laughs> okay, so what you have on, like, I mean, even though it's a light color. You can take like a darker eyeliner and really smudge it out close to your lash line and create that kind of an ombre smoky effect. Okay. Or sure. you can definitely do something like a darker, like something like giraffe, which I have here. Okay. It's more like a burnished bronze, you know, something really soft and pretty for the day. Oh, yeah. So I do have an eyeliner. So just throw it on here. Yeah. And just take another brush and like, or you can take the other end of the pencil. Stop, really? Yeah. My colleague, Connie, who lives in Atlanta, taught me that trick. She just I takes the end of the pencil and does that. No way. Yes way. Oh my gosh, that works, God. Yeah. Easy you breathing. Know? Yeah. Yadi says she smokes it up and adds glitter all day, every day. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> it's perfect one and done eyeshadow. I love a one and done look. You can see the comments, right, Scott? No, I can't. So I'm going to grab my phone and I'm going to. Oh, okay. It. Hey, guys. Oh, Hi, Lisa. Do you have any questions? Huh? Oh, I see can one of my colleagues. Oh, another colleague. Hi, Angela. <laughs> Hi, Candace. Oh my gosh. Yay. Eileen says life is uncertain at extra sparkle. I need that on a coffee mug, Eileen. That, you know what? That is I, really. That, those are wise words. Hi, Raina. Oh, what nail polish do you have on? Oh. You're getting asked about this doggone nail polish. What? What, what is it? This what is. What is it? Um, Hold on. Where is it? I think what? I have it here. It's the new Dior yes. holiday. It's Gorge. It is pretty. Um, but, you know, of course I can't find it, y'all. How does that work? Uh, Do you I have too much makeup? I have all my stuff laid out here, and now I'm like, now I can't find it. Oh, well, I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it and I'll show you. We'll find out what it is. Is it part of the holiday collection? Yes. It's yeah. the deep one in the holiday collection. It's really pretty. Black Knight. Yes. Yeah. Yes, that's it. It's in okay. I it's really nice, you guys. It like dries so quickly. I'm just saying. But all right, so what do we think? So Angela, my colleague, she loves to take the luster glide eyeliner and go in the waterline with it. Waterline. So other side, waterline. Yeah. Hold on, which side did I do? <laughs> I can't I feel like I'm <laughs> right there. And I'm no, like, hard because our left is our right on here, and my right is my left. It's, I keep, oh. Uh. Okay. Perfect. I okay. love waterline. What I'm so impressed by your skills right now is that you did not take your finger and do this number. Oh, really? Remember, the fact that you do that without even, I love you so much for that because let me tell you something, ladies, there's a trick. What she just did is a great trick. But when you do this, you're stretching 
your eye, your eyelid, and we all don't need our eyelids stretched. Hello. Yeah. yeah. Don't do that. that. Yeah. Don't do that, or don't do that. Literally, just do like Jennifer's doing, and just take the pencil and go right into the waterline. You're going to get it in there. You don't have to stretch your eyelid out or underneath as well, because you know those collagen and elastin fibers. Once they kind of break, they're broken. That's pretty. Now you know what we were actually discussing whether that would be a pretty color with these or not, and it actually yeah. this is black forest, which is so like an evergreen, is, really pretty. It, it's like a green, you guys. Mm -hmm. Really pretty color. Great on brown eyes, blue eyes, green eyes, hazel eyes. And it goes in the waterline really well. And these like, eyeliners, I have amethyst here, which is kind of like a dark cranberry. Mm, I love that. I, so I love that. It's a darkish cranberry color. Mm hmm. That's pretty. Scott. Scott, are you there? I think Scott got, <laughs> I think he got stuck guys. I think Scott's frozen. <laughs> yes, this is Chantikai. It's called Black Forest. It's a really good, really good eyeliner. I know he just really wanted to show you the swatch really, really well because he just wanted to show you. He he said, this is what I wanted to do. <laughs> Scott, we really, we were able to see that swatch so well. Thank you so much. Oh, I got the wrong hand. There you go. <laughs> I literally looked up and it's like little pin, like little, uh, oh, God. It's like, where did everybody go? And then it said, plug in your computer to the ethernet. I was like, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> I'm lucky that I have my ring light and my laptop plugged in. Don't ask me to do anything else. <laughs> you're like, you're good for that, right? Yeah. Oh, I'm like crying. These so are funny. very, I don't know what y'all said. Um, these are very <laughs> long wearing. Once they dry, they're great for the waterline. They're even great, like Jennifer did, to take it and then literally just take the other end of the pencil and smudge it out to create a smokier eye. Yeah, I love these. Just, I mean, and they're you have to work quick because once they it's dry, right they're, yeah. they're there. Um, but there's so many pretty shades. All right, we had some questions. Yeah. Let's see. Uh <laughs> Oh, there's some funny comments, guy. Yeah, one of my colleagues just texted me and said, you're frozen. Really? <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for that. <laughs> oh, goodness. That's so funny. Okay, so does Annie was asked, Annie, I think I was, oh, does it? Since we've launched these, never heard, never seen anyone mention that that yeah, happened. Yeah, I haven't had I haven't had any issues with that actually, but I'm, I'm kind of particularly careful about that because I will, I will put some eyeliner on a contact, but I just try to be careful, honestly. Let's see. Uh Oh, haha. -ha. Olive brocade is my favorite. Lexi's favorite is olive brocade. Okay. Olive brocade is really pretty also as just an eyeshadow by itself. So taking it and going all over the lower lid with it, it's oh. uh, it's a mossy green with gold flakes in it, so it's really pretty on the lid. Mm. Really pretty color. Raina said, oh boy, what a screenshot. <laughs> Let's see. Black Forest is gorgeous. It is. We really all appreciate your swatch, Scott. <laughs> all right. Any other questions? Oh, suggestions for blue eyes, eyeliner color. Amethyst would be really pretty for blue uh, for blue eyes. It's more of like a deep burgundy. Um, it's gonna make you look like um, you have, I, I, I know, I think, and personally me too, sometimes I worry like with that type of color, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna look like I have pink eye or something, you know? 
So that's kind of a. Yeah, it's not too red. I know what you mean, like the redder the eyeliner or the redder the colors around the eyes can make you look like you're not feeling so well. Right. Um, but this one's not. It's more of like a deep burgundy. Okay. And then we also have violet damask, which is almost like a, um, a black plum. It's really pretty, but it's more, um, it's more brown. It's definitely more of a blue purple. Mm -hmm. uh, really, really pretty. And then we have, of course, I think Black Forest would be really pretty on blue eyes. Um, we also have Jasper, which is kind of a bronzy brown uh, that would be really pretty on brown eyes as well. We have another one called Slate that's kind of... Um, Great. Good, it's almost like a how a, um, a rain cloud, that kind of a grayish color. Really pretty. What a good description, Scott. I was about to say Battleship Gray, but I was like, no, that's just not romantic enough. I'm just going to say. The USS Enterprise. <laughs> oh, that was a great segue for me to announce something. And I'm so excited about this. You don't even know. What? So, um, our makeup, Sean Sakai makeup is actually on Star Trek Discovery season three, which started on not last night, but the thir Thursday last week was episode one. I was able to hook up and meet the, um, I haven't met in person. Literally, I met her through Instagram, the lead makeup artist for the series. Wow. And so I was able to get Shantakai in her hands. And so um, for all of you Trekkie, Trekkies out there, Stop uh, it. we're over season three. So, yeah. So they're so they're all wearing Shantakai, essentially. All, she told me that she tried her best to have at least one piece of Shantakai on each cast member. So like Michelle Yeoh from uh, Crazy yeah. Rich Asians. Yeah. She was one of the characters on it. Um, she last night had on our camouflage sealer concealer and our aqua blush. No way. Yeah. Jeez, Scott. I, was, I just totally geeked out. So I was just so excited. So, so. Um, that's cool. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm very proud. Yes. Yeah. Everyone give Scott a thumbs up. <laughs> go, Scott, go. <laughs> This is the one that I'm so excited about. Okay, okay, okay. We'll do it. We'll do it. Okay. Yeah. I'm, kind of excited. I'm really excited about that one. I think of the two, I like this one the best. Yeah. And I'll be honest with you, it is a lighter version of Amethyst Eyeliner. So to kind of give you a good idea of the color of Amethyst, it's a lighter version of Amethyst Eyeliner. It's so, so pretty. Um, Actually, going to put it right next to amethyst so you can see the color. Oh yeah, really, really pretty. These are almost they're almost pris prismatic. Yes. Um, they're multi-dimensional, I guess you could say. Uh, you definitely, when your eyelid moves and when you your head moves, it's almost like it catches little glistens of light. I really love this crane. So it's like a I want to glisten. Oh, it's it's so pretty. Like, I don't even know how to describe this. Like, this is the first time of me actually getting to see this as well. Oh, <laughs> so pretty. So, okay, let's see. Under, like, what would you say the base color is? It's kind of dark, right? It is dark. It's like a dark plum. Yeah. And definitely. then it has that really pretty soft kind of a, a, a pinky, opalescent pink shimmer to it. Yes. And that you know, really like real, um, what do you, I don't even know. I'm trying to get it so that you guys can really see the sparkle. You guys, can y'all see it better like that? Yeah. Can you it's see the really pretty, like it's almost, it's pink. Yeah. Oh, people are asking if it's permanent. Yes. These are both permanent. The nice. shadows as a whole uh, collection are permanent in the line. Oh, good. Okay. Um, I'm just going to throw a little bit of this under my eyes. Let's so see. You're going to be seeing the ad campaign for these shadows and also the other half of the holiday collection that's not out yet that will be coming uh, probably toward the middle of next month. Um, in an ad campaign, it, we're already in Town & Country magazine. You get to see our two models uh, wearing these two shadows along with two new lips that are part of a lip collection that's going to be launching. 
Um, and what I love about this one is Anna, who is the Caucasian model, she has crane all over her lower lid. So it starts at her lashes and then they just blended it up into the crease. And then Fatima, who is our African-American model, mm -hmm. uh, has on zebra on her lower lid. Nice. It's a really bold lip. So it's a really pretty kind of a um, combination of the two colors with an alternate on the lips. I love that. I, I mean, I just, I think it's just so, so pretty. Hold on one second. I'm trying to find my, the brows have to look good, Scott. It's all good. We have to look well, well groomed. <laughs> I mean, all right. Let's you know, brows, like in the past, like four, four or five years, like really just kind of take off. Like, yeah. About that the other day. It's been about five or six years, maybe that they yeah. have really just made, you know, I mean, there was, there's always been a brow pencil out there, but I think they really have just kind of stepped up their game. And you know what? So I grew up in like the nineties and early, early, like I graduated high school in 2003. So when? Um, 2003. <laughs> okay. So I, I graduated high school, but see the pencil brows. Mm. Like, Lucking. So like from like 16, you know, like 16 on, you're like, oh, I got to shape my brows and stuff. But that was really in. So I don't know. I just no, I've I tried think. to keep them. But, you know, once they're gone, they're gone. So they are gone. I mean, there's a lot of new technologies out there to create a brow that's not there anymore. Right. Um, it's really good. You know, make sure you find the right person and see their work that they've done before. But there's a lot of things that you can do out there. Yeah. That can really help create a, a fuller brow. We make a, a wonderful um, brow gel and then mm -hmm. it has the peptide built into it to help. If you have brows, it's a great peptide that's built in there that helps your brows grow. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I am mm -hmm. going to sweep this all over the eye. And I don't have anything down at all. So just FYI, okay. I don't have anything for it to stick to. So this is just. It dry? It dry. What I also love about these, oh, see, that's pretty. What I also love about these shadows is that I find that they there's not really any fallout from them. I Look, I mean, hardly anything, Scott. Yeah. That's now, really I didn't clean up very well from the last one we were using, but that's okay. We're playing. That color. Yeah. There's your holiday smoky eye right there. I mean, all you need is this. Yep. I mean, that's easy, Scott. I mean, look, I just threw it on. Okay. Hold on. One moment. And now I'm playing. Okay. Yep. I'm like, can y'all see what I'm doing? I'm like trying yeah. to do what I'm doing. That is a really pretty smoky eye. And it looks like you still have a little bit of zebra here in the inner corner. I do actually. How did you? I love that. How did you know that? I love it. I don't hide it. <laughs> I'm just I trying to get it off. No, it's pretty. Ooh, sultry, they said. Ooh. I turned my phone off because I think that's why I went into the, the nether oh. minutes ago. So I'm just using an eyelash curler because I always use an eyelash curler. And I really want to put on mascara with this, this one. I really like this one, Scott. That's pretty. And I mean, can y'all see the pink? Yep. That's gorgeous. <laughs> Angela said it, this is her favorite. Ooh, okay, so I will try to build it up. So let's see, applying with the finger. Okay. Okay.
It is pretty, I mean, there's a lot on there. Yeah. 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 You can definitely build this up if you want. Yeah. Thank you, Candace. Y'all are, are so sweet. Really. Just the best. That's a smoke. And I'm not usually like a super dark, like, eyeshadow yeah. person. I'm, I'm like, wow. well, the thing where, is, not, where, where are we going, Scott? <laughs> we're on vacation starting tomorrow, so I don't know about you. But <laughs> He's like, I'm out. <laughs> but what's fabulous about this is, yes, it is a dark color, but it has that uh, fleck of that opalescent pink shimmer to it that kind of reflects light so that it's not so dark. Because, you know, like when it comes to color, dark pushes everything back and light brings everything forward. So when you're yeah. highlighting something, you're bringing it forward and you're doing something dark like that. But your eyes are not. That is really pretty. Um, someone asked, would you use zebra in the inner corner to brighten it up? Yeah, definitely. You can do zebra in this inner corner to really kind of bright, brighten if you tend to be dark through here. You could even do a little bit just on the lower lash line, like in that inner corner, like on the bottom and also on the top, kind of like a little V would be really pretty, even under the brow. I mean, I did mention earlier that this is, I don't know if I would highlight with this, but with these two together, yeah. Yeah, I did. I threw it on. Let's see. You said right. under the brow and I'm just going to do what you say. Yeah. All right. Tell me right here. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Now, for those of you who are not wanting a metallic eye, this is not <laughs> what we would recommend. Because <laughs> this is a high shine. Uh, but they're pretty. And they're just, I don't know. They're Like I said, I feel that these shadows, this formula, are just like little pieces of jewelry for your eyes. And you may not want oh, to. I love that. It. Yeah. You may not want to do it all over the lid like Jennifer did. But if you do just a little bit, just right along your lash line, just really close to the lower, uh, lower the the upper lid lash line, it's so pretty. We're gonna do another one on the on the other lid. We'll do a different look. How about that? Mm -hmm. Like maybe we can use them together. Yeah. So this is kind of what this looks like by itself, and I kind of like it smoked out. And you know what's so great about it being smoked out like this? It, so, okay, I don't know if you can tell, but I don't, when I smoke it out, like up here, right, mm -hmm. it looks so even. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't look, you know, sometimes you can have a shadow with sparkle in it and it can look patchy because the under, the color, the base color doesn't spread very well. Yeah, it almost skips. Yes, yes. Yeah. And this doesn't do that. It's like the base color is, it spreads so even, evenly. And yet there's still like the sparkles very even on top of the lid. Yeah. Very nice. Now I'm going to blow your mind and suggest something. Uh oh. I want you to take your, a clean ring finger. Hold on. I got to get one of those. <laughs> <laughs> right. Fine. Buddy. You're laying around somewhere. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> a little bit into zebra and then go right. Just close to your lash line. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. We'll do that. Do I need to wet my wet it no, or no? No. Okay, okay. Just try oh, which brush am I using, Jana? Um, which which one? This one. Shade this is going to try. One. And this is a refer. O three. Refer three, and then I was using a Smith two five six as well. When will these be available? Good question. So these will be live and launching on our website on chantakai.com next Wednesday, the twenty eighth. Mm -hmm. You will be able to order them and get them sent straight out to you um, with haste and speed. Did it show up? A little bit. A little bit. Not yeah. a ton. Yeah. I think I'd probably have to wet it. Maybe. 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 Hey, I'm playing. Let's what? see. Shade and Sweet Brush from Shantikai is what this brush is called. Yeah. It's a wonderful brush. 
Um, really and it's made for these actual eyeshadows, right? That's what you said. It was specifically made for these shadows, for the luminescent uh, formula of shadows. Okay. Hi, Ka. Lauren said, smoky eyes are so gorgeous. They are. They're just pretty. And I mean, I remember back in the day when I was using like four or five colors to make a smoky eye. Now you just need one. Yeah. No, I, I agree. Let's see if I can do this. Uh-huh. There you go. You see it? Yep. Really cool, Scott. I feel fancy. That's pretty, yeah. Mm. Okay, let's try one that's like a little bit more. How could I use this shade? Like a little bit more subdued. Like what would I, could I wear it like on, on you know, daily? So I would, yeah, I would take a clean, dry brush. Okay. Let me rub my brush off. Okay. Just lightly go into the shadow and literally just start at your lashes and just gently blend it. Okay. So I will do that. Soft hands. Don't be heavy. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm going to mess it up now. It's the pressure. No, no pressure. No pressure. <laughs> the pressure is on. No, I'm just kidding. Hey, Stacy. Stacy's here. Scott has beautiful color eyes, Raina said. Oh, I do. I have my grandmother's <laughs> eyes. Sometimes they're blue. Sometimes they're green. That's how mine are. Like in different color, like in different lighting, they like do different, different lighting, things. different shirt that I have on. Uh, depends on how much sleep I've had. Uh, how many margaritas I've had. They're all, they can make <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, Thank you. Eileen said, I was going to promise to go on a low buy. Looks like I'll be waiting to make that promise on Thursday. <laughs> 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 Let's see. Beth says she always goes too heavy. Let's see. Yes, the brush came out last year with the rest of the luminescent eyeshadows. They were having a conversation about the brush. Uh, Yes, it's already available, right, Scott? What, the brush? Yeah. yeah. The they can brush. already get that. Yeah, you can already order that. Just uh, Crane and Zebra will be available next Wednesday on our Got website. it. Okay, yeah. cool. And All I right. moved, while you're doing that, I'm yeah, going, I need to tell, like, why this is called Zebra and why this is called Crane. So oh, the whole luminescent family are part of our African Vanishing Species collection. Uh, and they're all to help support conservationists in Africa and also across the globe uh, where some of these animals, especially the pangolin, may live because uh, there's nine species across the globe. Um, we're helping to support them in protecting these beautiful creatures. So the crane, uh, which is the gray crown crane, um, mm -hmm. is a beautiful bird. It's about waist high. Uh, and it has these, it's beautiful kind of a golden crown of feathers. Um, I hate that this thing is backwards because I, I go this way and it, yeah, okay. <laughs> so the crown is com compromised uh, golden feathers. And so they also have some tail feathers that are the same color. But then around their eyes and along their temple, uh, they have this beautiful red color that is very striking and very pretty. And then their their body almost is like a reversed ombre of grays uh, from white to gray to black. And so it's a beautiful, beautiful, majestic bird. Um, and the reason that they are in danger is that people are uh, collecting them to be pets. Um, they're having them in really? hotels. Yeah. Um, they're also having them, um, unfortunately, harvested for body parts. Um, and this bird will not mate in captivity when it's stressed. Um, so when that happens, of course, there's fewer of them. So they're really working to rehabilitate these beautiful birds um, and to bring them back. Um, yeah. And then the zebra is for the Grevy zebra, uh, which is in northern Kenya. And the Grevy zebra, it's named Grevy after the president of France was given one of these as a pet back in the 1900s, early 1900s, turn of the century. Oh. Yeah. And they were named Grevy after that president. And there's only about 3,000 of them left in the world. And there's three wow. species of zebras, but this zebra um, has rounded ears. It's almost like it has its uh, Mickey Mouse ears on. 
uh, or little bows on its head. And yeah. then the stripes are thinner. That's how you can kind of distinguish them from other zebras. And then they have a white neck. Uh, but they are, um, they're losing their natural habitat for reasons of like population growth, things right. of that nature. And then they are not necessarily killed for their skins. They're killed for their meat, which is, really? yeah. But we're working with, um, it's the Rwanda Wildlife Conservation Association for the Great Crown Crane and then the Gravy Zebra Trust. So money from the sale of these um, shadows goes to support both of those organizations to protect these beautiful creatures. Yeah, I love that. I mean, it just means so much. Like, you feel like you're doing something good, you know? Yeah. When and what I love is, like, every time you go and you go to use the shadow or, like, even the lipsticks and you see that animal on the outside, you know that you're helping to protect them for future generations. Right. I, I mean, and they're so beautiful. Like, yeah. even just, these are, like, little pieces of art, you know? Yeah. In your like in your collection or whatnot. Let's see. I threw my mascara. Okay, so what did, you, this? Yes. What did okay. you do? How did you put this on? That's pretty. So I put the let's see, zebra on the outer or sorry. Just the kidding. outer corner. The crane. Oh, crane. Yeah. Crane on the outer and line my eye with it. And then put the Zebra. Zebra, sorry. I know. On I'm, the inner. I'm still I'm still learning. I am too. I want to call zebra crane and crane zebra. I know. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I did. And then I'm going in with the mascara. Is this longest slash mascara? Yes. Do you love it? I do actually. I was on the fence. I have to be I have to be honest. I was on the fence with it okay. the first week or two. Okay. I was like, I don't know. If I, yeah, I was because I feel like it needed to dry down some. Okay. So yeah. So it's funny you say that because I've heard customers tell me that is that they like this mascara once it's dry just a little bit. Yes. Um, so about after you've used it for about a week, you'll start really, really kind of loving the formula because it's made out of synthetic beeswax and then flower waxes. And then it has a nourishing rose oil in there. So it is a wetter mascara. Mm -hmm. um, and it, of course, has the Sympeptide 17 that makes your lashes grow. So it's a fabulous yeah. mascara. It's a fabulous formula. What I love about it and what customers have told me is that it's not a mascara that is going to make your lashes hard and crunchy. Right. You can bend them throughout the day. Like if you get something in your eye or anything, your lashes aren't going to be hard and crunchy. And if you want to apply more later on in the day, let's go right on top. Right. And I like that too. Like, I feel like I can maneuver them a little bit more too. Mm -hmm. Whereas, you know, like this one's already dry. Like I yeah. can push these up. Yeah. That's what I do sometimes to like make them curl more. Yeah. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah. Really pretty. They have great lashes. Thank you. Oh, yeah. So that's what I did on this eye. Can y'all see? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yadi said hers have grown so much since he started, started using it. I always say, give yourself a tube, give yourself a tube of longest lash mascara and you'll see a difference in your lashes. They're going to be thicker, longer, fuller, more voluptuous. So these are these two shadows on. I did Scott have a request to show what Kenya looks like with these. Okay. So uh, I thought we could maybe do that too. What do y'all think guys? Yeah. Kind of compare the colors. Cause they do, they look like they would be very similar. Yes. And even I'll admit you and I had the conversation. I was like, Ooh, I haven't seen these in person. They, they kind of remind me of Kenya, but they are different. They are different. Now I did do some swatches and I will share all these swatches on um, Instagram. And then also I will um, put them up on um, YouTube as well. So I'll, I'll do a dedicated video to these as well, but I do want to show you guys, this is the Kenya one. And thank you, Scott, for sending these over. I appreciate that. Um, this is Kenya. Now, if you look at these, Scott and I were like, are they similar? Are they not? Like, they're purples, right? They got the purpley stuff going on here. 
but they are quite different. Can you see okay? Kenya to me is more silver based, if that makes any sense. Yes. Um, it's cooler, uh, with cooler undertones. And then zebra and crane, I feel, are warmer and actually a bit darker. Right. Especially crane. So Elizabeth was asking, are there any other holiday cosmetics to expect? Mm -hmm. There are, and they're going to be uh, four lip crayons. Uh, they're called Le Mat Stilo Crayon. I think it's the name of it. I know there's Matt and I know there's Stilo and there's gotta be a lot in there somewhere. So let me <laughs> make sure I'm telling you the right name. I think it is Le Mat Stilo. Any of my uh, Shantikai peeps that are on here, if you know the answer to that, you are more than welcome to answer. Um, they are a little bit delayed. They are on their way uh, from Europe. Here they are, Le Mat Stilo. There you go. Uh, but they're these beautiful uh, lip crayons. It's kind of like a chubby um, lip crayon, mm -hmm. self-sharpening. Uh, it's infused with a baobab oil, which is the same uh, oil that is in our lip veil formula, which I think you have lip veil on right now and acacia. Oh. Yes, and I have it on my cheeks. That's my blush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, da, 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 da. yeah, very quick. Um, really pretty. They're very nourishing. So it's a matte that's not drying for the lips. And there's going to be four shades. There is Meadow Sweet, which is a nudie pink. There is Snapdragon, which is a soft peachy pink. Uh, Aster, which is a really pretty bright rose. And then we have Lobelia, which is this fiery orangey red. Uh, nice. So four pretty shades um, for a holiday. And then we do have a skincare uh, piece for holiday. Um, it is a deluxe size um, of our BioLifting mask, which is our facelift in a jar. Um, it's going to be in a one and a half times bigger size and it's going to be a beautiful red with gold in celebration of the Chinese New Year. So it's beautiful, beautiful packaging, limited edition. Um, so I'm excited about that as well. Ooh. I Y'all just, I mean, Shantikai just goes above and beyond from a packaging standpoint, I feel like. Oh, well, thanks. I love I mean, it. I, I do. I mean, even like this is like insanely beautiful. Like with this, like, what is this? <laughs> I'm like, I can't even describe it, Scott. It's this beautiful kind of sparkly. Uh, uh, glitter, like a shimmering sea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, and it's like gorgeous. <laughs> I'm like, uh, uh, la, 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 la. I can't yeah. speak. <laughs> but yeah, they're just so pretty. I it's just yeah. I don't yeah. know. I feel like there's attention to detail with packaging, and you know what? I feel like it's the. Ex I was also saying, people are, sometimes people ask me why luxury beauty. Like what? What kind of makes you gravitate towards luxury beauty. And I think for me, it's the experience of it. Like right. it's the experience of being able to just, you know, it's yeah. a little treat to me, if that makes sense. Yeah. So. You know, here's the deal. Like there's so many, there are fashion houses, there are luxury fashion houses that I can't afford most of the stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. But if, let's say you wanted a piece of whatever house they have right. a brand you're able to ha you're able to buy into that luxury or that buy into that um i guess you could say fantasy um in a different way you may yeah. not carry the five thousand dollar handbag but you can it still at least enjoy and have a little piece of yes whatever, with a yes. lipstick or an eyeshadow or even skincare for example right Right. And yeah. I think too, it just, it's just kind of the experience of it. I just love yeah. it. I love it. Anyways, I'm going to put on Kenya so that you guys can see what this looks like on. I'll also swatch this next to these. So this is Kenya. Y'all, I tried to do this the other day and I felt I, I didn't do it well. So hold on. So Kenya is this and this. Gorgeous. Love it. It's one of my favorite Chrome Luxes. 
So that's yeah. let's see. Jennifer, thanks for doing so many try-ons on your eyes. Oh yeah. Hey, I could be here all night doing this. This is like, this is like me time, you know? This is fun. I mean, I could, I mean, it's Friday. Okay, this is zebra. So hold on. Zebra beside. I just hold on. I want to do zebra beside the lighter one. Hold on. There you go. All right, I got I got to start over. <laughs> Let's see. One second. So that is that. So zebra next to the lighter shade in Kenya. Yeah. Yeah, can you tell? Do I need to go back? Warmer. Yeah. Definitely warmer. Definitely a little bit of like peach. Mhm. Mm or peach. What do you yeah. think? Yeah. More of that rose gold. Annie's saying, okay. Annie says luxury beauty can also afford higher actives and ingredients and more expensive, better to better quality pearls. Very true. Very true. Yeah. Very true. Lauren says, I love the Shantikai lipsticks. Tell Scott that I've worn I've worn via his suggestion from the last live. Is patience. Oh, okay. You all, know, all she's worn, excuse me. All she's worn is patience. Okay. Let okay. me tell you. I actually was thinking earlier tonight. I was like, okay, what am I going to talk about? Like, I'm going to pull something out. And then I was like, you know, I got to pull patience out because that is the lipstick that every woman in the world needs in her bag and like in her arsenal of lipstick. And then I thought, no, I think I talk about it a little too much. Let me talk about the fall colors. But yes, patience. If you don't have, if you do not own patience, do yourself a favor and put it in your basket, put it in your cart. Go ahead and go to Shantikai.com and look up Lip Chic in the color Patience. Everybody needs it. It's the prettiest nude. Hold on, Scott. I got to go look it up now because I don't, I need to. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, I don't have it right here in front of me. It's somewhere else in the house and I have no idea where I could be, but. Oh, you're fine. My, my favorite one is a more in the lip sheet. That's my favorite. And I have it. Uh, it's somewhere. <laughs> somewhere <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I think I actually um, decided to, Oh, here it is. It's behind my other, other one. This is a more. More. So it's a good, like, just a good rose. You can wear it with everything. It's pretty on the lips. Mm, I love the formula of Lip Chic because it's a hybrid between a lipstick and a lip gloss. So if <laughs> lipstick and lip gloss had a baby, you got Lip Chic. <laughs> Lauren says, yes, it's honestly the best nude. And for me, that's hard to find. I'm serious. Yay, good. <laughs> Beth says, I don't have patience in life or lipstick. Well, hey, you need maybe, it both. Maybe it will, will the lipstick give you some patience? No, I, 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 I haven't tested it. Uh, <laughs> I'm right there with you. Um, I'm not, I'm an Aries, so I really don't have patience. Uh, I am too. You, when is your birthday? March. March what? 27th. We're only a few days apart. I'm April 2nd. Stop. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, totally. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So but weird. we're definitely uh, uh, many years apart. <laughs> yeah, I'm a lot older. <laughs> That's okay. That's all right. I don't have good skin care. I mean, it ain't I'm nothing but an age. It ain't nothing but an age. It's nothing but a number, right? <laughs> you try to get up out of the bed in the morning. You're like, oh, that hurts. I didn't know I had I didn't know that hurt. Yeah. The new, the new, uh, the new pain in the leg or the side. Yeah. I get it. All right. So here are the swatches of those together. So just, oop, oop, there we go. So, so Kenya, this, Kenya's in the middle, right? Kenya's, hold on. I'm sorry. I'm, this is very difficult. Yeah. Hold on. Right here. Yeah. So this is Kenya. This yeah. is Crane. Yeah. This. Yeah, exactly. 
<laughs> this is zebra. So you can tell, I'm sorry, I have this light. I wanted to make sure you guys could see them, but I feel like it's reflective. There, there, there you go. Perfect. So they, they kind of complement each other. They do complement each other and they are different. But they are different. You're right. <laughs> Yadi said, patience is, they said, go get it. <laughs> patience? Yeah. Yeah, go get it. Patience and Camellia. Patience now. Patience and Camellia are two everyone woman needs and Honey Pot. Yeah. I saw Honey Pot. Okay, Honey Pot and Patience are very, they're close. They're are they? Closest. Yeah. Now, are, are they close to this one here? The, not that one. Tamarind. No, Tamarind is a lot darker. Oh. Tamarind is very, very dark. Yeah. Okay. I okay. love that one. Give me two seconds. I think I know where patience is at. Just okay, go. Be right back. Yeah. Going to get it now. Let's see. Oh, yay, Candace. Okay. Ordered Zebra and Crane. They will be here Wednesday. Can't wait. Yay. Tambodi. I have not tried Tambodi. Honey Pot is similar to Honeysuckle. I have not. I need to try those, y'all. This is so good. I love this one too. This is the uh, tamarind. Okay. Guess what I found? Did you get it? I got patience and camellia. Oh, stop. Yeah, okay. So you come through, Scott. I came through. <laughs> so, okay. So, this is patience, okay. which you can see is like a really pretty nudie brown. And then this is camellia. So it's also very light, but it's more pink. Mm. In the of the yeah. So really, really pretty. pretty shades. I'm, I'm telling you, like everybody, uh, you know, it depends on like if you want more pink in your nude or if you want more of like a pinky, uh, a more of a nudie brown, then definitely go with mm. patient. It, they're just, it's, you can't go wrong with these lipsticks. You really, really can't. You can't nice. go wrong with a more as well. T Rose is another good staple. Oh yeah, yeah. Anais is a really another pretty nude that's more. It's a warmer nude where uh, Patience is more of a cool nudie brown. Anais is more of a warm um, nudie brown. If that makes any sense. They're saying Tambodi. Tambodi is another beautiful one, and that's in the Lip Veil formula. Uh, oh. so you're going to get a little bit more color payoff. Um, than you will um, with lip cheek. Now this, I have the lip veil. Lip veil. I just put tamarind on. So that is that. Yeah. And then here. Um, lip cheek is more, here, I'll put them on my hands. Let's see. Let me do Camellia. Yeah, and I'll show what this Amour looks like too. It's definitely shinier. Yeah. So it has hyaluronic acid. Uh, lip chic does. So, okay, let me get to the. Oh, oh, they're so pretty, Scott. See? Okay. So this one, it, well. <laughs> yeah, I can see it. It's definitely, it's almost okay. like a peachier new. There you go. So, this, well, see, I'm trying to go that way and my finger goes the wrong direction. This is, wait, what is that? That is Camellia. Is it? Yes, that's Camellia. And then the one up above it, oh my God, that is Plumeria, which is part of the fall, uh -huh. uh, fall collection. Oh, yeah. So holding those two up to, side by side, oh Lord. I'm all thumbs tonight. I don't know what that's all about. So this is Plumeria. I mean, I could just stripe them across my forehead. Yes, but, I mean... <laughs> Trying to like almost like spaceships trying to like match up in space or something here. Um, Camellia. <laughs> Camellia. And then we have Plumeria. So you can see kind of the same family, but definitely. Oh my God. Okay. So Camellia. Yeah, and then the one up top is Plumeria. Gorgeous. Uh, let's see. An experiment in terror. So many details. Huh? My favorite movies are, are Shantikai. 
Oh, I love that. And Plumeria. Plumeria. Just, Just take plumeria. my money. <laughs> I leave. All the monies. <laughs> love lip products. I have to thank you, Tracy, for coming. I appreciate it. Hey, Tracy. Oh, Tracy, <laughs> I need to tell everybody something. So let me go ahead and say this. Um, you all need to make sure that you are signed up for the Shantakai.com email newsletter, okay? Not only do you get to know about launches of new products, uh, new skincare items, new color items, uh, you get to find out um, kind of some makeup tips and tricks as well, but you're also going to get to know about any upcoming sales that the general public won't know about and won't be able to participate in. So please make sure that you're signing up for the shantakai.com email newsletter. Uh, and you can go straight to shantakai.com, scroll all the way down at the bottom of the page, and you're going to see a little area um, for you to sign up. Uh, go ahead and do that. And you're going to get to know about our uh, Thanksgiving sale that's coming up. So it's going to be a little different. Um, the Thursday before, I'm going to give you the dates. Um, we're actually going to have, so Thursday, 1119 through Sunday, 1122, starting at 1159 PM until 1159 PM. Is this Eastern standard time? This is Eastern standard time. Yes. Uh, good call out. Cause I live in Dallas and I'm in the central standard time. Um, we will have 30% off and yes, um, from Thursday, 11, 19. So the Thursday before Thanksgiving and then Sunday, 11, 22, uh, at midnight. And then, um, Monday, 11, 23 at 12 AM Eastern standard time, the public sale will begin, um, with a little bit less off. Oh, I don't know if I'm allowed or should be saying this, but I, I just did. So, so, okay. We need dates again. Okay. So first and foremost, you have to sign up for shantakai.com newsletter. Okay. Because okay. that's the only way you're going to be able to get in on this. Um, it's not that you just go to the site and it's already doing this. You're going to have a link that's going to be emailed to you for you to be able to shop to get the discount. Okay. Okay. 11, 19, Thursday, November the 19th, 2020 until Sunday, November the 22nd at 1159 PM, you will have an early access, so to speak at 30% off. So 1119 through 1122 is when the, uh, it's kind of like a pre, a pre Thanksgiving sale. Um, and the great thing about that is that you can get in there, you can get the things you want. We're not going to sell out of things, you know, and then you're going to be upset. And, oh my gosh, I didn't get to get my rose water or whatever. Um, like my five rose water backups. Why? Because that's what's in my cart <laughs> right now. <laughs> five is as many as they'll let me have. So I order, I have my five waiting. Um, and then. Is it really? Oh yeah. You can only order five of any quantity of, one product. Oh, yeah. I, I didn't know that. I was just throwing a number out there. <laughs> no, you're, I mean, you're exactly right. Yeah, fine. Oh. Um, and then at 11, Scott. Yeah. So <laughs> at 11 59 PM um, on Thursday, the 19th, basically midnight um, until midnight Sunday, 11 22, there will be 30% off on Chantica.com. And then starting at, 12 a.m. on the 23rd, the public sale goes for just 24 hours. Um, and it's going to be 25% off. So if you want that extra 5%, which it adds up, I mean, it could be a lipstick, it could be a mascara, that money, adds up. Um, it'll go for 24 hours. Nice. Very excited. Oh, I'm so excited. Now, Will it be on everything on the site or? There is one exclusion, which are okay. our Tata and Toy Animal Charm bracelets, which I actually have um, some of them. Oh, yeah. I saw those. They're so those, pretty. Those are really cool. They are made by um, London jeweler Tata and Toy. So they are made out of, let me just put one on, um, 
two girls. One of them is Tansy Espinall, who there's the Espinall Foundation in England, in Kent, that is an animal sanctuary. Uh, oh, nice. So this is the is, elephant. Are they sparkles, like um, beads? So they're all different colors. So the elephant is purple. Um, oh, nice. And then there is a whale shark one, which I had to have because it's navy blue. Blue is my favorite color. So, oh, yeah, it's pretty. Uh, that's the Oh, book. yes. Really pretty. And people like stack them and stuff, I oh, yeah. Like if you ever notice Olivia Shantakai's arm or her wrist. Yeah. With about eight or nine on. That's so cool. Yeah. Uh, they're really pretty. And they, they go on really easily. It's a, it's a great little uh, pull tie. They're great. And I mean, I have some from the past. I have a uh, one that's the pig. And you know what? This camera thing is really, I'm struggling with it tonight. So I have, well, that's bad. Oh, but, you know, yeah, but, it looks really cool. Stop it. Oh, You're doing great. No. <laughs> the So I put the link to the Shantikai site. So you go all the way to the bottom to the site. It's on kind of the right hand side of the screen. I yeah. wish I was looking. Um, and you know what? Yeah. You know what, Scott? We can show them how to do it because I know how to do it. Okay. So yeah, there, there they are all stacked. I love these. All right. So let's see. So Shantikai. There we go. Let's see. I can share my screen. Application. There we go. Can you see? Yes. Look at y'all. Look. Oh my goodness. I y'all. This is so fun. Oh my god. Okay, brought that up because I can talk about that. That's a new product from us. But if Ooh. we go all the way down to the very bottom. Sorry, guys. Right there. Join us under the rose field. So that's the roses in Grasse, France. Uh, that's in our rose water. Look how gorgeous. Sign up for the latest news from Shantikai. Put in your email address, subscribe. That way you're going to get a heads up and you're okay. going to get a link to the pre-sale, which is the 19th through the 22nd at midnight for 30% off. Nice. So do it. It's worth it. <laughs> and that way you kind of get ahead of everybody. You get ahead of the public. Um, right. And you get to order all the things that you want and desire, all your desires, um, all your wishes can come true. All your desires. Scott, Eileen said that you're her favorite human now. Oh, well, thank you, Eileen. I appreciate that. <laughs> it's one of the sweetest compliments I've ever heard. I get to tell my mom here this weekend that I'm somebody's favorite human. That is so sweet. That's awesome. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Hey, oh, I, I put these on, Scott. Gorgeous. What do you, you think? One, yeah. What do you think? What do you think? Yeah, really pretty. So you have one on one and one on the other? Yeah, so I did do with I did do the deepest one in like the hold on, which one? This one? No, that one. On the corner here? Yeah, yeah. Just a little bit. Yeah. But this one's all kind of all over the lid. But you can tell that it's not as deep as the other uh, like the what is They're that? Not as dark. Yeah. The crane. The crane is definitely, sure. and these are, these have a lot more sparkle. So if you're not into sparkle as much, these are more of a shimmer. Yeah. I see. Yeah, I can put that sparkle words together. <laughs> I couldn't remember sure. one before. But yeah, like these are more of definitely a shimmer and these are like butter. 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 <laughs> They're butter. like, they really are like butter. They're beautiful. Let's see. Doing great. Oh, thank you, Candace. Oh, y'all are so, so kind. I like I said, comment, so. Oh, well, Eileen said, don't tell my wife. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Lauren, I adore Scott too. He's great. Okay, maximize the screen back, Jen. Okay, sorry. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 before you maximize the screen back up, go up to the very top. Okay, okay. Right here. Yes. So we just launched. These are called the Gold Recovery Intense PM Concentrate. Okay. So these guys, this is our our ampules. So what this is, this is a 28-day system. So you get four of these little 
bottles, these little vials. Okay. One is worth, it's a week's worth, okay? So you go on this for 28 days. Okay. And it really, it, it is, it's an intense concentrate that really helps reboot the skin. Okay. Uh, fine lines are going to be dramatically uh, diminished uh, by using this. I mean, it is an incredible, there are peptides that have just been discovered. There is actually a amplify, a hexapeptide amplified that we are actually the very first cosmetic company in the United States to use it. So um, another company is using it in Europe, but we so are- what's it called again? I, I missed that, I'm sorry, Scott. What was the name of it? Hexapeptide, it's an amplified hexapeptide. So we have our anti-wrinkle hexapeptide, which is in yeah. the bio-lifting range, okay? Really cool. Yeah, so we call it our needle-free version of Botox. So it's a chain of amino acids that goes in and helps diminish the appearance of the fine lines. But this hexapeptide Amplify mm -hmm. is like anti-wrinkle hexapeptide 2.0, or actually like okay. 5.0. Um, right. It really helps diminish the visible appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. There is a gold heptapeptide mm -hmm. uh, to really help reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Right. Um, there is a refining lipopeptide that really helps address vertical lines. Uh, crow's feet, the 11s. Uh, there's a lotus japonica extract that really helps reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Uh, there's a bionet peptide as well that we've used for many years. It comes from a tobacco plant oh. um, that really helps reduce fine lines and wrinkles. And then there is a nighttime enzyme that comes from microalgae. That oh. helps. So during the day when we're exposed to blue light pollution, blue light definitely destroys our skin can cause fine lines, mm -hmm. cause hyperpigmentation, uneven complexion. So what this nighttime enzyme does is it actually helps uh, protect our skin and helps with a little bit of uh, correcting what is what damage has happened during the day. Okay. Look more radiant. Um, it's just a really wonderful, wonderful product. I've been using it for about uh, three weeks, and I can definitely tell uh, that my skin is a little bit uh, more toned. I have a little bit more toned appearance to my skin. Well, even we did like this little practice run to make sure we knew what we were doing before we came out here. <laughs> and Scott, I was like, Scott, your skin looks amazing. Oh, thank you. Like, I mean, even here, like you don't even have, there's nothing. No. Like nothing. Oh, yeah. These little guys are really good. I also, my other, um, Favorite product is our BioLifting Serum Plus, which is full of peptides as well. It has that anti wrinkle hexapeptide. It has the refining lipopeptide uh, to really help reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. But these little guys, these really pack a powerful punch. Sylvie says it's the Rolls Royce of skincare. So um, how does this? So do you? So you said this is a month, right? So it's a so month. After a month. Do you buy another month? You or do. The no, so this you will go on this for a month, four times a year. So the, the way I like to think of it, oh. spring, summer, fall, and winter. Like if you were to get Botox. Well, yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like your upkeep. So like say January and then three months later, like that'll be January, February, March, April. You're going to do this in April. Then okay. May, June, July, August. You do this in August. And then you would, of course, uh, September, October, November. Huh. Did I do that right? I, anyway, you're going to do it four times a year, <laughs> every three months. So one little vial, there's four of them that come in the, in the box. Right. One vial should last you one week. So and then you put it on first before, after you cleanse your face. After you cleanse your face, of course, you got to grab your rose water. And you're going to do... A loose Z like pattern, your, your rose water, and then you're going to take I just love it. I love it, Scott. Just a little bit, and you're going to go all over the face. Now, okay, does it have like a retinoid yeah. or anything like that? Is it going to, like, is it going to be really, um, sun, like, sunlight sensitive? Like, no. no. Okay. And this is to be used at night, first thing on your skin, and then follow with your serums, you know, that you prefer and your moisturizers as well. This just needs to be the first thing on your skin at night. 
So only at night. Uh huh. Okay, we got some questions, Scott. Sure. Um, let's see. For the for our eyes, is the elixir the best or something better? The elixir. I don't know what the elixir. The radiance elixir. I'm not quite sure. Melissa, which which one are you speaking to? And then another question is, um, have you, there was a big buff brush from Chantikai. Do you guys still sell it? Buff and blur brush. It is on its way back. It was out of stock. Okay. And it is on its way back. Okay. So keep so your, eyes, gonna come, keep your come eyes posted. Okay. And then can you recommend a product to start to firm skin? Face um, and hooded eyelids. Okay. Hooded eyelids. It's our Rose to May eye lift, okay? This, Sylvie specifically created it because she has a hooded eye. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it is a, a little ceramic tip applicator. You press the button and it forms a little pearl here on the very end. And then you take it and you lift under the brow. Okay. And you can use this all over the eyelid as well. You can also use this underneath. So it helps with puffiness, helps with dark circles. Um, it, it, it's a wonderful, wonderful little product. So I would recommend this for the eyelid. There you go. Cause I was like trying to look in this little corner and I was like, I sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. So you can take this and you can lift under the brow with it. Okay. Uh huh. I wouldn't go as hard as I'm going, but you can definitely come under the brow. I, I don't like the way this camera is set up that it's <laughs> opposite and then definitely come underneath and swipe out. I need to have a little bit more gentle hand. Um, but this helps with upper eyelid lifting. Uh, it also helps smooth out uh, the skin that's on the eyelid. Okay. We also make our stress repair concentrate, which is an eye cream that you can definitely use these two together. Um, stress repair concentrate is an eye cream that can also be used on the eyelid to help with upper eyelid lifting. Um, the ingredient right. in both of these is a Persian silk tree extract. And that's what helps lift the upper eyelid. Um, and then for the face, I would definitely recommend our BioLifting Serum. That, that product is a must have. It's amazing. Um, it is amazing. It's lifting, firming, line smoothing. It's hydrating. It's so um, good. It's soothing. It has raspberry stem cells to help visibly calm and soothe redness. Uh, it's a must have serum. It is, I would dare say, it is our most, ulti it is the ultimate anti-aging, lifting and firming um, serum that we make. Nice. And what I love is that it's all skin types. It's great for all skin types because you don't feel like it's it's a lot, but you're still or getting oily it. or anything like that. Yeah, nothing like yeah. that. Wonderful. There. Well, what is it called again? The ro the eye lift. Rose de May eye lift. Okay, Rose de May eye lift. Yeah. Wonderful product. And I'll I'll write it in here for you guys. And I will tell you, when you get it, you got to shake it like a Polaroid picture. <laughs> You're and not kidding. I'm not kidding. You got to give it a little shake. Because what happened in the chamber, there's an air pocket that's keeping all the product this in. So you got to get the air pocket out. And then there's a little button on the side, and you just kind of gently massage it. And it, there you go. It's right out. Wonderful. And then you have to sing the song too as you're shaking it. <laughs> I heard that the other day on the TV, and I was I started dancing to it in my own. No, oh my gosh, that's so funny. Okay, so oh, we have more. We we have more questions. Um, so someone said I'm already starting to add it to my cart for the sale. Yay. Oh, for eyes, is the elixir the best or something better? So they're asking the radiance one. The radiance elixir. Okay. For eyes, this can be used around the eye area, but we do make eye products, um, skincare pieces that are specifically designed for the eye area. Uh -huh. um, if you're, I would definitely recommend our nano gold energizing eye serum, which is the gold roller ball. That is wonderful. It helps with puffiness. It helps with dark circles. Um, it really helps smooth out fine lines. It does have an anti-wrinkle hexapeptide as well. 
that really helps diminish the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. You can even use it around the mouth. Um, you can use it in between the brows. Ooh, I like that. Oh yeah. And then I would definitely partner it with our stress repair concentrate plus, which is an eye cream um, that helps really impart a brighter looking eye uh, underneath. There's a blend of all white flowers that really helps with darkness and puffiness under the eyes. And like I said, it helps with upper eyelid lifting as well. Yeah. I just, I love that because the elixir, you can use this around the eyes. Um, this actually helps get me zoom ready. Um, this is a product that I didn't know I needed until I got it and started using it. Yeah. It really just creates a, a beautiful luminous look to the skin. It really helps smooth but it's out. But not too much, you know, yeah, like, too much. which is so nice. Okay. Oh, we have more questions. Oh, wait, look, look, Scott. How does that compare to the 24 gold serum I have? Okay, so the Nano Gold Eye Serum that you have, Yachty, I love this. It's like magic. I, I forgot about this feature. I'm so I sorry. An hour in. So the Nano Gold Energizing Eye Serum is a rollerball. It, I would dare say, it is a little bit more intense. It's a little bit more um, like, powerful. Um. Has a little bit more oomph to it um, and it definitely, but it's it's kind of along the same lines. What I do love about this, the Rose de May Eye Lift, is that it was specifically designed for the eyelid to help lift the eyelid. Whereas the Nano Gold Energizing Eye Serum was pretty much specifically designed for underneath uh, mm -hmm. to help with puffiness, darkness, and fine lines. Oh, we have an another question about, when the best time to use it from Debbie. Hi, Debbie. The eye lift? Yes. Morning and night. Okay, and so both. And you were even saying that it's a good primer for these eyeshadows. Yeah, you can use it as an eyeshadow base, um, which is remarkable because it's treatment, plus it's helping to kind of lock the shadows in place as well. Yeah. I like to literally in the mornings when I wake up, my eyes can be a little puffy. I literally will take uh, my Rose de May eye lift and I will. Yes. And the, and the tip is soft, not hard or anything you know, like it's that. It's a ceramic tip, um, but it's, you know, just have a gentle hand. And then I always usually take my finger and kind of. Mm-hmm. I'm a guy. I'm not, I can't, I am. Sometimes I'm not gentle. Like my mother would say, I'm like a bull in a China shop. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I think so. Can we talk about the masks? Okay. So we make a lot of masks. We make some of the best masks, um, but they all kind of do different things. Um, if you're wanting something to detoxify your skin, if you're um, having a little bit of mask knee, which is a thing now. Oh, I know. I recommend our detox clay mask with rosemary and honey. It's a clay mask made out of kale and clay. It has a mushroom extract. It has rosemary and honey. Um, and it helps really kind of detoxify the skin. It also has that mushroom extract really helps diminish the appearance of large pores. So that's a great detox mask if you're breaking out. Um, or you really like, I tend to can get blackheads really easily in my nose area. So I use it just in the nose. If you get a breakout, you can use it as a spot treatment on the breakout. Um, it has honey, which is a humectant. So it's not going to dry your skin out, which is great right. because a lot of those clay masks will dry your skin out. Uh, but this one doesn't. Then we also make our hibiscus smoothing mask which is our gentle, most gentle yet effective way of exfoliating your skin. So it has alpha hydroxies, there's grapefruit, there's papaya enzymes to really help dissolve all the dead skin cells. Yeah. Leave it on for three to 10 minutes and it's going to just and rinse it off and your skin's going to be so much smoother and brighter. It's a really great mask. And then we make our Jasmine and Lily healing mask, which is first aid kit in a jar. I, it helps me when I have a little bit of extra redness in the skin. Um, when I was traveling so much, uh, being on the planes and in hotels, it was it would wreak havoc on my skin and kind of dehydrate my skin. So I would sleep right. in jasmine and lily healing mask. 
and it would really help give me the nourishment that my skin needed. So very calming and soothing and hydrating. Um, then we make our bio lifting mask, which is in a silver jar, face lift in a jar. Um, it has a high dose of the anti wrinkle hexapeptide and another skin tightening agent called Pulalon that literally tightens the skin. So what it does is it almost is, acts like an iron to smooth out the fine lines and wrinkles. You can sleep in it as well as an overnight I've, treatment. You've used it. Yeah. I find with that one too, it helps with like if I have any breakouts or anything like that, like it helps to kind of just calm them down some, you okay. know? Yeah. Yeah. Very, very I mean, for me personally, that's what I've experienced, but I just, you know, even like with the mass knee and stuff like that, I feel like that, you know, it just soothes really nicely too, mm -hmm. you know? And then we also have our gold recovery face mask. I have this one here. It's literally, it's like butter. It, okay, let me see if I can get where's the light. Let's block. There you go. You can see a little bit. It's oh wow, cool. yes. So this is full of peptides to help diminish the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Plus, there is a group of uh, botanical anti-inflammatories. So there's black currant seed oil, sunflower seed oil, um, to really help visibly calm and soothe redness in the skin. Um, mm -hmm. There's an energizing microalgae that really helps impart a beautiful radiance into the skin. It's a wonderful mask to really help bring your skin back to life and impart a beautiful, radiant, healthy glow. And it just, it literally. It's like literally gold. Yeah, it's gold. It's beautiful. It is Very so. Very gold. Yeah, and it feels like heaven. And you can sleep in this. So I like to take a little bit of the gold recovery mask, mix a few drops of our Rose to May face oil. And right. Put it on all over and go to sleep. And then I wake up the next morning looking heavenly. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a wonderful, wonderful product. But I got to tell you about something that just launched. And I'm surprised I haven't already talked about it. And oh, yes. So I'm actually going to use it. Okay. Let's. There is, there is a way to use this that we have discovered. <laughs> So Cleansing Balm uh, was created, Sylvie was inspired by watching uh, makeup or movie, uh, movie actresses removing their makeup using almost like a, uh, a cleansing cream. Um, and so she yeah. created this beautiful balm. It has a um, kind of a pink opalescence to it, um, but it's Sorry. infused with raspberry stem cells that are hydrating and also soothing. Uh, there's a phytic acid. Um, that gently exfoliates the skin. There's hyaluronic acid to help nourish and hydrate the skin. Um, there's tamanu oil to really help nourish as well. So it's very nourishing. It's very soothing, hydrating, um, and also gently exfoliating as well. And so the best way to use this is I start off with a healing um, breath of rose water all over. And then I literally go into the cleansing balm and just start massaging. And as you can see, it's going to form a very soft lather. You can and it helps with using like the rose water before. You would definitely recommend that. Yes, because it gives it a little bit of slip. You can use this on the eyes to remove eye makeup. Now, there's definitely a cleansing ritual that you can do. Um, it, let's say that you want to get a, a very polished um, cleanse um, okay. to really help exfoliate. We make our bamboo and hibiscus exfoliating cream that I would, you would leave the balm on and then take a little bit of the bamboo and hibiscus and then start massaging it in. And then yes. So it's I like have a cleanse that lasts me forever. Yeah, it's like it goes a long way. I know. And then, like, if you definitely want, like, the complete super duty cleanse, you've been a really dirty girl. <laughs> balm, well, rose water, of course. <laughs> Cleansing balm. Do your bamboo and hibiscus exfoliating cream. Then rinse that off. And then come back with our rice and geranium foaming cleanser. And that's really just going to help make sure that you have removed the entire day away. All the makeup. All the things are gone. And now I'm taking a beautiful, we're going to uh, have these also on our website pretty soon. Wait, uh, what is it? Wait, no, no. 
they're cotton uh, squares. They're reusable. They're made out of um, cotton. And I'm just getting it really damp with rose water and just removing everything. Oh my gosh. That looks awesome. How many do you know how many are gonna come in a pack? Like I'm like three. Three? And they're actually bigger than this. They're about the size of your hand. Um, oh. And what I I've had these for years. We were given these at a sales meeting years ago. And I just take I mean, I probably have had these four years. No way. Yeah, they gave us a pack of five, and I literally will just take it and throw it in with my whites in the washer and dry them, and it's ready to go. Damn, I'm done. Are the cotton cloths high nap? High what? I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. What does that mean, Lexi? High nap. I'm not sure. laughing <laughs> look at candace she's like crying <laughs> oh oh fibers fibers like a uh, like tightly woven um they are it's very soft though it is oh. it's very, we were like uh i don't know I don't know the answer to that question oh oh okay lexi is educating us for example a shag carpet is high nap compared to low pile this, let me get really close. Oh, like, oh, I get what she's saying. They're very soft. It's, I mean, I, this, they're yeah. very gentle. Um, it, it's almost kind of like, um, I don't know how to describe this. Like, it's just a really gentle. Um, like, high enough to see how, like, how thick? Like, um, high that maybe is, is that what I'm am I getting that right like well, I'm gonna be honest with you I haven't the ones that we're going to come out with I haven't even touched those these are the ones I've had for a year. right right but, um I've heard uh our boss was on a conference call with us and she goes guys you remember the the cotton rounds the cotton squares that we got at a sales meeting it's going to be like those oh okay she said high nap fire fibers help remove makeup more easily than Lou. I would dare, I would, I would bet money that this is going to be a high nap fiber because it's just very soft. Um, it's definitely not tight. Um, and you're able to really help get everything in there. You can rinse it out and reuse it real quickly if you need to. Uh, but they're wonderful. I really, really love them. Oh. You just take it and throw it in your wash and you're good to go. I see. I need stuff like I need, like I have a few, but you know how sometimes like, I don't know, they just don't last very well. They just don't last that long. Okay. Okay. Donna, they've been, oh, they were asking, is it similar to a muslin? Oh, it's not, okay. A muslin. I have one. No, this is going to be thicker and softer. You know how muslin is almost like linen? Yes. It's not. This is definitely a very soft, soft cotton. Oh, Lexi, no, you're educating us. Oh, yeah, please. Yeah. No, 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 no. We don't, I want to know what it means. Okay, they've been asking about this in the comments. <laughs> How do y'all know about, no. Um, okay, so the new Cushion Foundation, it is our Future Skin Cushion Compact Makeup. And mm -hmm. it's already launched in Asia. Hold on, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Future skin, meaning the one um, but in the pot. In the pot, but it has nothing to do with future skin. It's just called that. Okay, so oh, let me go ahead and put so that out. Right. Okay. It's a compact makeup. It's a cushion foundation. Uh, it has already launched in our Asian market, and it will be launching in Canada um, at Holt Renfrew uh, here shortly, like literally within the next couple of weeks. Um, and the four lightest shades. So it launched in Asia. They already have the four lightest shades made. Gotcha. Um, they are in the process of finishing up the dark, the four darker shades. So there's going to be eight shades total. Um, it's a cushion makeup. It will come with a refill. Um, and it's going to come in this really pretty compact. It has an elephant. It's one of our icons. So if you look on our 
web page. Down at the bottom, you're going to see the four icons. There's an elephant, a coral reef, a bee, and a lion. And it's the elephant icon. And the reason that it's the elephant, yeah, it's all over Instagram uh, from our Asian uh, retail partners over there. Uh, and it's done phenomenal. In Korea, um, our shade Alabaster, which is one of the number one selling shades in our Asian markets, they sold 600 within the first hour. What? So it, it was crazy. Um, so it's a cushion makeup, will come with a refill, has an elephant on the outside of the compact. And what is wonderful is that it's philanthropic. So this foundation will be giving money to the David Sheldrick Wildlife Trust to help protect the baby orphaned elephants whose moms have been killed for ivory. So that's a fabulous thing. Um, so let me tell you about the makeup. It actually has an anti, it has a bionic peptide, which I spoke about earlier, that's in um, the new gold recovery intense concentrate for PM. And um, there is- well, It an, has that in it. Yeah, it's in it. So it's an anti-aging, it's a treatment foundation. And it also has an anti-pollution protecting polymer built into it to help protect your skin against pollution in the environment. So sure. it's a foundation that has treatment built into it. And it's, it's so pretty. Mm. Oh, yeah. what's the finish? Is it light? Um, I actually, to be honest with you, I haven't tried it. Okay. Um, I'm getting one within the next couple of weeks. I think uh, I was asked what my shade would be so they could send me one to try. So maybe at our next rendezvous, I can yeah. show it to you. Show it to us. Yeah, definitely. Um, in the United States, January of 2021. Okay. So not until January. Yeah. But I will okay. tell you, Bergdorf Goodman, um, will have some shortly in the four lighted shades. Okay. Hint. Can't hint. <laughs> but Shantikai.com and the rest of Shantikai, it will be January of 21. Oh. Aware that it's a good thing to have a complexion, the shade of a... Okay. Have you heard that before? No, I've never heard that before. I Eileen, <laughs> we haven't heard that one before. That's I, it's so rare that it's <laughs> If you're talking about like a light pink yeah. shade, we definitely have that. Yes. That's so funny, Eileen. I never heard that before. Does the pure rose water have a strong scent or does the scent fade quickly? I'm sensitive to strong scents. It's all natural. Um, and no, you, you literally, um, I spray it. I love how you spray it. <laughs> the light pattern. It's, the light pattern. pattern. It's, it's not, no, it's not fragrance. It's uh, a it. natural, uh, scent and it's very, very light. It's very I gotta, light. I got to refill. This one's out, man. Oh, um, man. Don't worry. I have enough. Sizes. We have the original. Uh, 3.3 ounce or 3.4 ounces. It's kind of went a little heavy. <laughs> 100 ml. And then we have the one ounce, which is 30 ml, which is great. Right. Okay. And it's refillable. So you can pour from the large into the baby. Yeah. I, love the, I, I personally like the babies. I do too. I'll be honest with you. I didn't at first. I didn't like the sprayer on them. I'm very particular about how my rose water goes on. Very weird like that. I, I, but I think, I think the spray is actually pretty good. Yeah, it is very good. I, I, it doesn't like shoot you in the face. I've had those, you know, you know what I mean. Okay. <laughs> They're excited about the elephants. I am too. I can't wait. I, as if you know me, you know that I love elephants. They're my favorite animal, um, especially the babies. And so I'm so excited that this helps the David Childrick Wildlife Trust to help protect those orphan baby elephants. Oh. My friend in Korea told me about it. Oh, cool. Isn't that cool? That's so cool. I, I love it. Claudine says. Yes. They're coming out with deeper shades. Deeper shades. Yes. We got January 2021. January 2021 for the U.S. Bergdorf, um, maybe earlier. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, Sheldrick. Yeah. Sheldrick Foundation in Kenya. Ooh. 
Check them out. It's a wonderful Christmas present to give somebody. You can actually adopt a baby orphaned elephant. That is uh, and, cool. And give it as a gift that you've taken care of that baby for a year. And it's $50 for an entire year. That is really neat. How do you do well, that? You just, go it, huh? you just go on the foundation site? Go to the David, uh, go to the Sheldrick Wildlife Trust. Okay. Um, and you can adopt, you can actually pick out the baby that you want to adopt. Um, and you can fill out all the information and it will send, you can send it via email. Um, and your person, like you can say, I want it delivered on Christmas morning at 8.59 a.m. Um, and they'll get the email in their inbox and it'll have a picture of their baby um, with a beautiful art, uh, a watercolor from Angela Sheldrick, um, who is the, the, um, the head of the show. really cool. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I didn't know about that. That's a really good Christmas gift. That's a good idea. Are the new holiday lipsticks designed as color that gives back? The holiday, uh, the lip, the Lamatte crayons are not philanthropic, um, but the two eyeshadows are. And also, will there be a Tata toy brace that's created for Zebra Crane? I hope there are. I've already asked. I asked Alex the other day, um, and she goes, let me look into that. So I haven't gotten an answer back, but I, I hope there are. Oh, my gosh. Wouldn't a crane be gorgeous? I mean, and the zebra. Mm -hmm. What would the crane be? Like what it kind of like dark burgundy color? Like a Ooh, good idea. Yeah. Cause this is described as the smoky burgundy. Mm -hmm. So what With stone would that be? That would be like a amethyst, right? Well, we already have amethyst. I would think mm -hmm. maybe like a garnet, like a dark garnet. Yes. And then zebra, I mean, hello, it's gotta be black. It's gotta be black. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> um, uh, or it could be a rose gold like the shadow is. And so. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. Oh, I'm so glad you're here, Michelle. Oh. I'm, I'm so glad you're loving it. We. This is so much fun. This is so much fun. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I just need to save all my money for Shanta Guy. I forgot to tell y'all. We actually have a hand sanitizer. And it's back in stock. It literally just got back in stock yesterday. Um, it's wonderful. It, it, it's a spray. And it's 70% alcohol. So it's safe. It smells like heaven. What does it smell like? What would you say? Rose, geranium, and basil. So it's, it's um, unisex. And they did, that, they did that on purpose just oh, so yeah, yeah. You know, that men would feel comfortable wearing it. It's um, it's green, but it still has that kind of a geranium. You know how like geraniums have a kind of a, they're a floral, but they're an herbal floral, if that makes yeah, sense. Yeah. yeah. That's how it smells. And it's very gentle on your hands. It's not drying. Your hands aren't going to feel sticky, which I, I'm, I hate hand sanitizer that I feel I'm like, I have something on my hands. Or um, that filmy. You know that film? This one doesn't. And... The money goes to No Kid Hungry to help feed children that are being impacted by COVID um, that aren't getting the meals that they need. So we've um, committed to providing 160,000 meals to children across the United States. That is so yeah. cool. Yeah. I, that is so cool. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> Eileen, I've heard uncooked and boiled, but never poached. <laughs> What, what do you want to see, Candace? What do you want to see? What do you want to see? Oh, well, is there sun, sunscreen in the new cushion? There is no sunscreen in the new cushion foundation. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so rose water puts me to sleep and it wakes me up in the morning. So it's literally, there's one on my nightstand and I... I Give myself a douse before I go to sleep. Yeah. And then when I wake up in the morning, the moment I turn and put my feet on the ground, I'm reaching over to my nightstand and grabbing my rose water and giving myself a spritz. So it helps put me to sleep and helps wake me up. And then I use it all throughout the day. Which foundation is best for oily skin? Um, I would, I mean, we have, right now we have three foundations. We have our compact makeup, which is a powder foundation. 
Yeah. Some people who have oily skin tend to like a powder foundation, but we also have our future skin, which is a gel foundation. Yeah. Uh, that's oil free. It's 60% water, uh, has aloe vera, chamomile, arnica in it. So it's a beautiful foundation. And then Jennifer here has the just skin tinted moisturizer, which is another great foundation. I would dare say it just depends on what kind of finish and how much coverage you want. Uh, yeah. Just skin gives medium coverage. Yeah. Yeah. I think they're, they're really great. And actually, um, I mean, you could definitely, I mean, yeah, you could use all three. Yeah. If you're looking for a specific oil free foundation, future skin is your go-to. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fabulous. I love it. Always spray rose water. You always, let me tell you, you, after your cleanser, you start actually before your cleanser. So anytime you're doing skincare. Okay. You're going to start with rose water. All right. Gonna, after your cleanser, you're going to use some rose water. Right. Um, because I feel like it also helps. I'm not using as much product because it actually helps give my serums and other products a little bit more of a, a glide. Yes. Um, and then I just use it. I just use it all day, every day. Yeah. Oh, Candace's sister did that for her for Christmas because she oh, loves it so much. Love that. Claudine says she's going to look into the Sheldrick Foundation. It's wonderful. And it's a great gift. You know, I have everything I need. You know, we all have pretty much more than we we need. Yes. And so it's a great gift. You can, I mean, and it's something to do for yourself as well. You know, I mean, but it's a great thing to give someone, especially for that person that has everything. And you're like, I, I have no idea what to get this person. Like yeah. she has or he has. Really cool to do for like my kids. Yeah. You know, like. And so you get an email throughout the year every so often letting you know how like my, the one that I have is in Bigu. I get emails about her and know that she's doing okay. And she's turned into the little matriarch of uh, the elephant family uh, and orphans there. So she's taking care of the little ones. She's kind of an, uh, I guess you could say like a young adolescent now. And so she's uh -huh. turned into a little young matriarch. Uh, you get updates to let you know how your orphan is doing and stuff, but you can go on there and you can pick out, you can read about them. You can read about how they were rescued. Um, it, it's a wonderful, it's a wonderful thing to do. That is so cool. Have the hand sanitizer. Yes, it smells amazing. It's wonderful. But we just literally got it back um, two days ago, or yesterday, actually, on Shantakai.com. Ooh. Ooh. That's a good idea. I forgot about that. Um, hold on. Let's do it. Hold on. I can't see myself do that. Oh, yeah. Is that zebra or crane? Hold on. <laughs> I keep getting messed up. This zebra. is zebra. Yeah. That's pretty. Yeah. That is a good idea. Future skin's so good. It is so good. Love them both. Yay. Ooh, Scott. Oh, okay. Well, the first one is a no, no brainer. Rose water. You gotta have it. <laughs> my second would be right now would be radiance elixir okay. uh, and the fact that this like i said gets me zoom ready and it's i didn't know i needed it until i was given it uh, or i got it and it just really helps create a more um, luminous look to the skin i look more well rested earlier in the day um it's anti-aging you can mix it in with your foundation uh, or your tinted moisturizer, you can mix it in with a concealer to help create a more radiant look under the eye area. So it's a treatment, but it can also be used in a cosmetic way as well. So right. it's a really, really good product. Um, okay. Only one more, Scott. You can't cheat. <laughs> Only one more. I would have to say... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, I want to do a color product. I'm going to say the luminescent shadows. They're just easy. Like we were saying earlier, literally it can be that one and done 
Yeah. You literally take your finger and put it all over the lower lid and go. Put a little yeah. bit of hair on and you're good to go. Plus they give back to um, the people protecting those animals. Yeah, I love it. Oh, okay. Top three, skincare. Top three, skincare, rose water, radiance elixir, and... CBD 300 face and body. This has been a big help to me lately because of mask knee. It's actually helped keep this soothe through here. Mm -hmm. It's actually helped diminish the redness from wearing the mask all day. Um, it also has helped me with tension and stress and headaches. I take a little bit and massage my third eye or my temples or even the base of my skull. Yeah. You can massage the what's called the Union Valley, which is between your thumb and your index finger. It's a acup acupressure. Yes. Pressure. Yeah. Uh, massaging it right there helps relieve stress. Um, my mother personally suffers from restless leg syndrome, and so she puts this on her legs, and also the bottom of her feet to okay. help with that. And a colleague of mine, um, Mary, who lives in Chicago. She uses this on the bottom of her feet for high heel harm. So when you're standing on your feet all day on those high heels, you come home and your feet are hurting. Yes. Take a little bit of CBD 300 face and body and massage it on the bottom of your feet and it helps relieve that stress. It's CB, it's THC free. Okay. Um, and it's made here in the U S it is the cannabis is uh, um, grown in Kentucky, and then it's sent to Colorado to go through a CO2 distillation process. Um, and then it's it's got the 300 milligrams of CBD-rich hemp oil in each jar. Huh. And then there's eggplant stem cells and cherimoya stem cells to help visibly calm and soothe redness. So it, yeah. it, it's a wonderful product. That's really cool. Makeup. I didn't know you could use it on the body. Yeah, it's face and body. Huh. Um, so it's a really, it's a really good product. We're, I think, sold out right now on the website, but we should be having, well, there is some that's on its way. Okay. Um, and then yeah. makeup. Good. I mean, at other retailers, can they get it elsewhere? Yeah. Out on there are certain states that we can't, that you're not allowed to ship it to. Okay. Um, but Nordstrom, Neiman Marcus has it. Uh, Bergdorf's has it. Saks Fifth Avenue has it. Blue Mercury has it. But like if you live in Georgia, it's not sold in Georgia. Florida, Indiana is one, I believe. Um, I can't remember. There's, I think, like six or seven states that it can't be sold in or shipped to. Oh, okay. You know, maybe you have a friend. Would it? I wonder if it would help with rheumatoid arthritis. Uh, we can't make any medical claims. Sure. Uh, you know, CBD is a very gray area. It's not FDA sure. regulated. Um, I mean. I would just defer to the recommendations made by your physician. Sure. Um, I don't think it would hurt, definitely, but um, you could try. Yeah. What I always say about this product is what it does for me, it may not do for you. Right. What it does for you, it may not do for me. So it can definitely never. affect different people differently. Yeah. yeah. And then going back to the previous question, what are my top three makeup products? Oh, yeah. Tell us. Longest Lash Mascara is one. Okay. Um, I would definitely also, I would have to say the luminescent eyeshadows cause they're philanthropic and they give back to the animals and they're just beautiful. Yeah. Um, and then one more cosmetic product. Can I tell you, it's been so long since I've actually put makeup on someone that I'm having a hard time with this. Um, I'm going to go with our Luster Glide Silk Infused Eyeliners. These mm -hmm. eyeliners, they glide on like a gel liner. Yeah, it's good. There, But once it's there, it's there. Yeah. Lip veils. They were like lip veils, maybe? Yeah. Lip veils are, I would definitely, yeah. I will tell you, I, we didn't talk about it. We didn't. I put it on my hand. I have one here. Hold on. Okay. Liquid liner. So our liquid liner, as you can see, it's almost like a little felt tip. It has a sharp point, and it holds that shape 
really, really well. I'm going to do this on the palm of my hand. So it, And so let's say you have a shaky hand or you've had too much coffee in the morning. So <laughs> put your elbow on the counter, be a snob, look down your nose. So it tight because that tightens the eyelids. So if you ever have trouble with your like up where you place eyeshadows, always be a snob and look down down your nose at the mirror because it tightens the eyelids, especially if you have hooded eyes. Yep, just like you're doing. And so what you can do with this because it holds its sh sharp point is you can literally just press this into the lash line. Oh yeah. Oh, let me get over there. Uh, if you have a shaky hand and you want, because I'm going to let this dry. I put one on way before we started talking, like three hours ago. And it is, let me see if I can, well, I got to turn this. Where is my hand? Oh my God. I. This has been the biggest struggle for me. So if, can you see, wait, where? there it is. I put this on my hand like three hours ago. And I mean, I'm rubbing. Yes. And it's not moving. So this in the palm of my hand, it's not moving. It's not moving. No. We also make it in brown. So we have black. And then we also have um, a really pretty brown, which is almost like an aubergine brown. You can see that. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, it's really kind pretty. of brown eyeliner. Yeah. A liquid. liquid. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We have a question. I purchased the eyeliner, but am I sharpening it wrong? I kept sharpening and it kept breaking because it was so soft. Um, are you using our sharpener? I know they don't come with one, uh, but we sell ours uh, that was specifically made for it. Um, I always, I know kind of what you're talking about. It's almost kind of like you'll sharpen it and it'll catch and you'll break it. Um, just be very gentle and just really kind of gently and um, slowly turn the pencil in the chamber. She didn't know. She said, didn't know you had one. Yep. Shotsky.com. <laughs> All right. Well, I think Scott, I, I mean, I think we got through all the comments and questions that I could see. Let's see. So to round it up, I just want to thank, thank you, Scott, so much. Yeah. I mean, you're the best. And I just appreciate you so much. I appreciate you. Too. I mean, I, we have the best time. It's so much fun. And I just really, I just appreciate your time and being here and answering everyone's questions and things like that. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My pleasure. I always love being here with you as well. And with everybody that's here with us through all, all over the globe. Yes. Thank you guys so, so much for coming. Y'all don't know how much it means to me and to Scott. Yeah. I mean, Y'all have no idea. We just, and we love like talking with y'all about all of it. And I love, I was like, oh no, the, the comments. I'm so glad we could get all the comments up yeah. and everything like that. Ah, so cool. Make so, sure you sign up for Shantakai.com newsletter. Sign up for the newsletter. Someone was asking, oh, was there like a, um, a coupon event code or something like that? That is, that will be, yeah, later. That's coming. Yeah. Um, the and 19th through the 22nd, you get the 20. You have to sign up for the newsletter. If you don't sign up, there will be no way for us to send you the link so that you have access to the 30% off the 19th through the 22nd of November. Because at midnight on the 23rd at 12 a.m., it goes down to 25% for the public sale. So you're getting three days where you're getting, yeah. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you're getting three days of early access. access. Yeah. And so, a so I, let's ask, let's ask, ask all of our friends. So we were thinking of going through our carts for the sale with you guys. What do you think? Like right before it starts or whatnot, we could all kind of talk about what's in our carts and talk about what we are thinking about, what you guys are thinking about. It'll allow you guys to, you know, Take what we were talking about here or whatnot. If you, you know, answer questions here and stuff. Scott was so, so kind to answer all those and be able to 
you know, think about things that you were thinking about, and then we can come back and any questions that you're thinking of, bring them all the things. I think that would be so fun. What do you think? And especially if you have questions about colors and shades. Yeah. Um, you know, I know, I know it's hard to choose something from a picture on a, my screen on my laptop. Um, yeah. So me being able, I know them. Mm -hmm. um, um, and if I have them, I can definitely pull them out of the archives and you, know, you can see it here in person. I don't have everything. Yeah. So ask for that random weird lip color that you like. Is Lily really that orange? No. But I don't have it, so I can't show it to you. Oh, it's really hard to tell online. It is. It is. It's just, it's, that's, we don't have that technology yet. Yeah. It's, it's hard to tell. And then also, like, it's hard to know, like, you know, you you want to get something that you know is going to look good. Yeah. yeah. So, oh, look. Enjoyed this so much. Hey, Geraldine. God is so awesome. Love him. Yeah, thank you. Oh, yes. Yes. What a great idea. Yeah. Yes. Yes. We definitely do it. Yes, yes, yes. So, okay. We'll definitely schedule that um, right before it goes goes up or whatnot. Um, and then also it'll be a reminder for you guys so that you guys can be like, oh yes. That's I know. So yes, thank you guys again for being with us. I y'all, thank you. Thank you. Don't forget to like and comment on the live, share it if you'd like. Um, we are so, so thankful you're here. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Scott, for being here. Thank you for having me. I always love it. It's always it's, so much fun. It's a pleasure. Bye, y'all. Have a good night. Bye, Thanks, y'all. Bye.